here and this is my new island Sudsy Cove. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are here and I hope that you're all doing well. In today's video we're going on a villager hunt. So no, Olaf isn't the one who asked to leave, it was actually Piper. Piper asked to move away and so I said okay, I guess so. <laughs> she deserves her real house anyway, she's super sweet. So I have 20 tickets to work with, hopefully we don't use all of them. Today I'm looking for either Punchy, Daisy, Weber or I think that's it. I think that's all that I'm going to look for today. So hopefully I run into them or one of them at least, but we'll see. I doubt it. <laughs> all right. So here we are on our first island. Oh, it's Molly. She is so cute. But like what makes her so cute compared to the other ducks? I personally think it's her cheeks. She's adorable though, but I didn't take her. Um, I don't think she's going to fit the theme on Sudsy Cove. Maybe another island. Oh yeah, the other one we're looking for is Fauna. Okay, so island number two and Nook Mile ticket number two is a Kanga Mama. Island number three and Nook Mile ticket number three. Who do we have here? Oh, it's that Diners, Diamonds and Drives guy, that host. I can't remember his name. <laughs> okay. Island number four and Nook Mile ticket number four. Who's here? Who is it? Oh, it's an ostrich. So no. And then we're going to go and use island or ticket number five. So island number five. And I'm not sure why I took the long winded route here, but... <laughs> Oh my god, it's like that, it's that biking cow. Like, why? Okay, number six is another ostrich. Let's go to number seven. And who do we have here amongst all these peach trees? Oh, who is that? Oh, that's Lyman. He was at the campsite once on Stardew Isle. He's cute, but I already have two koalas. So, no. Okay, this is number eight, I believe. And is that a bear or was that a pig? Okay, island number nine. And... <laughs> I think that's Louie. Look at his butt. We are not taking another butt home. Okay, this is number 10. Who do we have here? Oh my god, Henry. I love him so much. But he was on Stardew Isle and I want different like villagers, so we're going to we're going to leave Henry. Okay, this is number 11. And again with this island. Who is this? Who do we have here? I think I saw ears. I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, I saw ears with like the scarf underneath. Yeah, no, no mice for me. Oh my God, it's the diners, divins and drives guy again. <laughs> okay, so we ran into him twice. This is number 12, I think. Oh, look at Lyman. So that's twice for Lyman. Oh my God, are they just gonna keep repeating now? Oh my god, that's twice for that Viking. Uh, I don't even know what ticket I'm on anymore. I've lost count. <laughs> okay, next one, I think that's Beardo or, or Beardo, Beardo, maybe? Yeah, he's a big bear. <laughs> um, let's see, who else? You guys, this hunt is not going well. Oh my god, chatter. Yeah, this hunt is horrendous. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who do we have here? See, it's the same island over and over and over again. Um, oh my god, it's Tia! Yeah, so Tia moved away. She now lives on my friend Amy's island. Oh look, it's a monkey. She now lives on Moon Valley. Amy was so nice to adopt her. She's super sweet. Okay, who do we have here? This is Bamboo Island. So you can actually turn these islands into like scorpion. Like, why? Why? Anyways, you can actually turn these and scorpions or tarantulas will spawn. Okay, 
I think this is it you guys I think this is my last ticket oh it's another mouse okay I'm back at home I let my plot autofill because my villager hunt was horrendous like it was horrible I should have just taken Molly <laughs> okay let's see what Robert has to say oh he's gonna teach me a reaction uh, the shocked reaction <laughs> so cute okay I'm super pumped. I want to know who auto-filled. Let's look. Oh, it's Ketchup. Ketchup is another duck. So cute. But Ketchup is definitely not going to fit with Sudsy Cove's aesthetic. So let's move forward. This is now Isabel. Look how long it took her. <laughs> this is Isabel's announcement letting us know that Freckles, no, I keep calling ketchup freckles that ketchup has moved in and so let's go take a look at freckles and see what she's up to Aw, Ketchup, she's cute though, and I actually really like her wallpaper. And I know I just called her Freckles like two seconds ago. Okay, so, oh my god, you guys, this island that she moved from is my friend Carol's Island. Carol's Island is where I stored all of my stuff before I restarted, and then brought it all back to Sudsy Cove. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, so we're not going to keep her. But what I've done in the meantime is I've actually invited Daisy through her Amiibo card. And this is the last visit or the last invite that I need. So the first one she wanted like, I know she wanted a cutting board. She also wanted, um, what is it, that wooden block like chest. And then she wanted a grass standee. Like, <laughs> what is she going to do with these items? But yeah, I'm so happy. I actually ordered my Amiibos off of Amazon. And they're like the tiny little mini ones. Oh, look how cute she is. I The only thing I don't like is that you have to invite them three times. And I honestly thought that... Yeah, see here she wants a grass standy. So he, I honestly thought that when you invite the villager with their like amiibo card and you ask them to move in, that all of the villagers are an option to move out. But that's not actually true. And I actually found that out right now as I was inviting her because ketchup actually didn't show up on the list. And I just thought that I could do like a straight swap daisy for ketchup but it's okay I mean it worked out in the end because daisy is now going to replace Olaf So I've moved forward to the next day and here's Isabel or actually two days because the next day she it just shows that the plot is sold so this is the day that she actually comes 
and starts to move in. So let's go say hi to Daisy and I actually love her house and I love that like vintage teal color of her door and just like the wooden part of her house. I think it's going to fit perfectly with Sudsy Cove. Oh, I love it. So let's go say hi to Daisy and welcome her to Sudsy Cove. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a whirlwind and super crazy, but look at how cute Daisy is. I think she's gonna fit in perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it because it will help me a lot. So thank you guys again so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.